Hello, good evening. Welcome to Look North. Our top story tonight calls for urgent action as the number of homeless people in Yorkshire reaches two and a half thousand. Sometimes it's scary, like when they were giving that snow forecast two weeks ago, I was thinking, well, could end up like that lad dying. Well, we meet the brass band musicians raising money to help people who are sleeping rough. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, housing charities are calling for urgent action to tackle the growing homeless crisis in Yorkshire. Shelter has revealed the number of people recorded as homeless here has reached almost two and a half thousand. Now, out of these, almost 200 are living on the street. Separate government figures out today also show more than 750 children in the region are living in temporary accommodation. Our social affairs correspondent Emma Glasby has been to Wakefield to speak to people facing Christmas on the streets. Doorway where I used to sleep. Put your sleeping bag there and used to sleep on the street. Sometimes you'd feel safe. Luckily there's a camera just above us there. Which, if the police knew you was here, they'd point on me. It's already got a sugar in its hand. Let's put one up on board. Cheers. Ryan is 18. He grew up in a care home. Then he lived on the streets of Wakefield. You're just thinking that, well, you got another night to sleep. And then you just keep on thinking, well, will I survive that one? Will I survive that one? He's just moved into emergency accommodation. Need someone to keep you warm. He relies on the goodwill of places like the Wakefield Street Kitchen. Sometimes it's scary. When they were giving that snow forecast two weeks ago, I was thinking, well, could end up like that lad dying. As Christmas shoppers pass by, most don't notice this spot. This is where a 57-year-old man was found dead in his tent. He was known to his friends as Elephant. Here in Wakefield, the homeless community is grieving. The day he got found dead by one of the officers, I went in cathedral with the lad who was his best mate and we lit a candle together. We did that in that cathedral there. Elephant died just metres away from Wakefield Cathedral, just metres away from the street kitchen he went to every week. He always had a smile, he always had laughter. I think the first kitchen without him, we were all very, very upset. In fact, what we did is we took flowers down and every volunteer stood around and had a few minutes silence just to remember him and just pay respects. Tonight, more than 100 people are here. They don't all live on the streets. Many are in temporary accommodation. But all felt the need to queue at night in the cold in the centre of Wakefield for a hot meal some of them with children. It's heartbreaking when the kids come especially. The first time we had a child come for food, I actually had to pull myself away for a few minutes because I was almost in tears. It's heartbreaking to see how many people are struggling. We've run out really quickly of gloves and the hats and the socks have gone really quickly. So how are you feeling about Christmas? Bad because you're not going to be able to wake up to no presents. You're not going to have your family around. But luckily on Christmas Day, Wakefield Street Kitchen are doing a Christmas lunch. What are you doing for Christmas? Nothing, really. I've got no family I can go to, so... You're coming here? Uh, yeah, fees are on, yeah. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, it's Christmas time. You shouldn't be on your own at Christmas, should you? Look after yourself, eh? Take care. There will be Christmas dinner here. There will even be gifts. It's not where they choose to be, but maybe next year they'll be somewhere better. Emma Glasby, BBC Look North, Wakefield. Gosh, it's very heartbreaking, isn't it? Uh, Wakefield Council is working with voluntary groups to connect people at the street kitchen. It says there's a range of support for rough sleepers, including a night shelter in severe weather. Eric Richardson from the charity Simon on the Streets is with us now, along with Simon Jacobs and James Reevil from Flat Cap Brass, who are raising money for the charity. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Uh, Eric, this is a very sad situation. Too many people living on the streets. Uh, in Leeds today, there was another incident where a a homeless person was thought to have been taken extremely ill. Yeah. Why is this situation getting worse? 
Well, I think it's it's not something that's happened immediately. It's something the figures are saying 16% across North across Yorkshire and Humber. It's actually 165% since 2010. Austerity, unfortunately, has hit all services, mental health and our support services, and local authorities have had to cut a lot of those support services. So more and more issues for individuals that are coming on the street, specifically around mental health. We now have a new elected prime minister. So if you could send a message to him, what would you be asking for? There were some commitments made in the manifesto about rough sleeping initiatives and homelessness. The point would be, please stick to those commitments that have been made, because if some of those other services go, there's going to be uh, even worse figures that are going to come forward, unfortunately. Let me introduce Simon and James now. Uh, professionally, of course, you are teachers. That's correct. Yeah. What are you trying to do with all this? So I think two things really, try and you know, raise awareness for Simon on the streets in terms of the work that they do, uh, the really important work, and also uh, produce a cover of a classic Christmas song really I think as well. And you're very good both of you, let's hear a clip just to prove it. <laughs> I love it. I love the sound of it in every way. Have you made, uh, raised much money so far? Uh, so far, we've raised over £600. Pounds, Brilliant. But well as done. we move up to Christmas, we're hoping to raise some more. Mm. Yeah. Eric, uh, what can we do to help? Christmas is the time of giving and not just gifts. Yeah, and I think the core of, of the message we give out is as well is that it's not just about Christmas. Mm. There's another 360 plus days of people are on the streets. So it's about donations, really. Uh, we work simply on donations. We don't get any statutory funding. As CAP do, who you had on the clip earlier on, those organisations could always benefit from donations, however small. The work that these guys are doing is fantastic fundraising. It's, it's I, I once did a night many, many years ago, and I was working for local radio, and I had the most bone-chilling night I've ever had. People don't realise how horrible... No. It is, do they? No. That's something presumably you've picked up on why you're doing it. Well, absolutely, and we've worked with Simon on the Streets as part of that, yeah. We do a sleep out every year, and I think that's probably some of the things you probably did, Harry, where individuals do that, 100 people that do that, and it's a big eye-opener for those individuals that and do it. When you're it. talking about gi giving money, it's to the charity, not to people directly on the streets. No, we, we, say, we say if you give it to ourselves, lots of people, like, we get the main question is about begging. Should mm -hmm. I give people that are begging on the streets? And that is a conscious decision for yourself. But otherwise, this thing called Big Change in Leeds or organisations that will then use that to deliver support to the individuals. And a quick word, what you, what you got coming up, what are you doing? Uh, well, a few more concerts up till Christmas, but then Christmas with the family. Yeah, yeah. Well, well done. Thank you for all the good work you're doing. Well Keep done. Up. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. Happy Thank Christmas. You all. You're watching Wednesdays Look North. Still to come on tonight's programme.